Hello and thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, the top exhibitions to see this summer. The internationally renowned Chinese artist and dissident Ai Weiwei brings his artwork to the south of France. And trespassing is allowed at French artist Lord Provo's secret Parisian Garden of Delights. He's China's most famous and most controversial artistic export. Ai Weiwei's work is now on show here in France at the Museum of European and Mediterranean Civilizations in Marseille. Taking in more than 30 years of his work, the exhibition's called Fantan, a play on words and a reference to Sino-French relations. It's also a homage to his late father, who went to Marseille long before his son ever set foot in Europe. Here's Olivia salazar Winspe. The Mediterranean gateway of Marseille's Porte la Joliette, home to landmarks old and new, and now the host of Ai Weiwei's most complete exhibition yet in France. The Chinese artist is showing work at the Musem, conceived as a bridge between East and West, the perfect spot to revisit a little family history dating back to the 1920s. In fact, in 29, his, his father, Ai King, who is a very famous poet in China, probably one of the first modern poets, arrived in Marseille and precisely in the Arvor, where the museum is. Ai King's features are captured in this death mask and his dissident spirit lives on in his son's work. If you have a father who is one of the biggest intellectuals in China and your father is treated like nothing for 20 years, for five years he was, he was cleaning some bathroom, super dirty bathroom in a village in north of China. And you see your father who is every day humiliated like that. How can you react? Uh, I will wear the real rage inside himself. In homage to his hosts, two new pieces have been created out of Marseille's fragrant soap, inscribed upon them the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of Women too. References to the global refugee crisis are visible in these tear gas canisters used against migrants and a sculpture of the life boys used in the Mediterranean. The show also takes in surveillance, social media and ancient Chinese traditions, a way of tackling the artist's complex relationship with his home country. Ai Weiwei is allergic to authority and Ai Weiwei is a very subversive artist. Ai Weiwei wants to shout what is whispered and in this way of expressing himself, it can it can't be accepted in China, that's for sure. For visitors, it's both thought-provoking and inspiring. Why is it only now that we've invited him to Marseille? After all, it's France's largest port, the melting pot in terms of population. Ai Weiwei was arrested in China. He's not allowed to return to his home country. So why is France, a so-called place of refuge, only received him now in Marseille, which is a port? It's nonsense. I wonder if, by putting those glass or crystal balls there, is he trying to show how fragile things are? I don't know. I'm just wondering. What I find most striking in his work is just how powerful it is, all of his pieces in fact. And yes, there are also some political ideas in there. They can be quite personal things that you agree with or don't. But in any case, he transmits an incredible energy. And that for me is what art is. It's that exchange. An exchange that's not limited to artist and observer, the show's also a reflection on the relationship between France and China. Centuries of political and economic back and forth, here, in its contemporary expression, courtesy of an international art star, 100% made in China. She's the first French artist to win Britain's most prestigious art award, the Turner Prize, in 2013. Laure Provo's work made an impression years ago in London, where she developed a taste for mixing video, ceramics, tapestry and misspelt text, a bilingual mashup that's now on show here in Paris. Olivia salazar Winspear went to meet her. Playful, quirky. 
quirky, conceptual and not yet a household name here in France. French artist Laure Pouvot has her first solo show at the Belle de Tokyo this summer after major exhibitions in the UK and the US and Italy. We're here to check it out. This new exhibition is called Ring Sing and Drink for Trespassing. It's in English, the title. Yeah. Why do these words uh, chime with your work? Uh, I mean, this work really came uh, to place once I, I, I knew what I was trying to do with this exhibition. And I, I, it was really the idea of a garden that is just behind this, this room, which we opened the door, which we invited to, the, the garden is invited to to trespass its own space, so, so kind of enter the gallery space and almost take over. But it's also ring sing and ring for trespassing. It's like it's a mantra, like yes, go go for it. You know, um, trespass what you don't know. Go go for things you're not you're scared of. Or also from from people who are immigrating or like this desire of something else who, for a better world. But also when you're a teenager, you climb over a fence and you're a bit scared. You're going to be caught. But it's all that excitement that comes with it. How is it different designing a show here in France? Um, working, here, it's like it's like going home. So you're a little bit nervous. What your parents going to tell you, or what, what you're going to be told off, or you're going to be like, oh, she's not, she's grey, or she's like, she's changed, she's different now. Or, you know, it's kind of like a big, uh, a bit of pressure, but it's also very welcoming, and uh, it feels like home in some ways as well. I love it because I feel like I'm in an avant-garde universe. It's very poetic, very modern, a lot of things going on. I'm very impressed. Surprising, fascinating, passionate. Moving, but mostly surprising. <laughs> I've always loved videos with messages and hypnotic lights, as if they're trying to influence us and pass on tongue-in-cheek messages. Things can come back to life at any moment. Nature regenerates its power. Nothing is lost. I wanted you to tell me about this piece of work, which we can hear. There's lots of water. There's a flood. Yeah, it's, tell been, it's been dripping all over, but luckily it's gone hard like this. Um, this is called uh, We Will Feed You, uh, a cooling system for global warming. So it's a kind of, I think I'm playing again, this exhibition is also talking a lot. When you watch the film, you'll see a bit more what, what I'm talking about. But it's about this, the, 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 the world being so hot that we need these to, to cool, to keep cool. Yeah, and of course, you're welcome to go in and swim. And it's uh, an invitation to... Uh, in quite generosity in some ways. After studying art in London in the early 2000s, La Prouveau won the Turner Prize in 2013 for her installation One Tea, a piece that's demonstrative of her host country's obsession with tea and of her humorous way with words. She's a French artist who lived for a long time in England, as it's where she studied. She now lives in Belgium, so you could say her work mixes British humour with Belgian absurdity. younger you didn't really like words or language didn't get on so well with them but now they're everywhere in your work why is that um, I think it's I just I had to tackle them you know it's it was something I I always had the worst marks at French or English <laughs> but I, I I mean I just love words because they create uh, imageries you, they can push your imagination you know when I moved to England I didn't I I misunderstood everything, so I made up my imagination was busy, you know, <laughs> trying to connect things and 
And in the UK, you won the Turner Prize in yeah. 2013, very prestigious prize. Yeah. What did that change for you? My grandma was so proud of me. <laughs> so uh, since then, she's always around and wants to show teapots everywhere you see them there again. And of course, it's been get more opportunity to develop my work, uh, especially more internationally, I guess, and, um, and, and in France. Suddenly I became, you know, the Turner Price, when the, the headline was the Turner Price is French. And I never even felt about, I never thought of my na nation. Of course, I'm French, but it's, it was kind of like, boom, <laughs> you know. is representing France at next year's Venice Biennale. Until then, her exhibition Ring, Sing and Drink for Trespassing is on show at the Palais de Tokyo until September. Drink for trespassing. Do you sing, drink and drink for trespassing? Yes, do you sing, drink and drink for trespassing? And we'll leave you in London, where an exhibition has opened about the iconic Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo making herself up features her colourful clothing, makeup and perfume. It's on at the Victorian Albert Museum until November. Remember our website, we're also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. There's more news coming up on France 24 after this. <laughs> Thank you.